Oh. Well, I know Christmas gets earlier every year, but it's still only October. It's for Sinead. We want her to have as many happy times as possible you know, before she goes. Oh, my goodness. Is it that bad? I mean, may she not make it to Christmas? Oh, please, I feel terrible now. She don't want sad faces. She just wants to enjoy every second. Can I get you anything, Rudolph? Yeah, no, I'm fine, thanks. Um, look, if there's anything that we can do. Well, actually, I was sort of hoping you might be able to come round to the flat and give her a makeover. You know, cheer her up a bit. Oh, well, I can do that if you like. I can come now. Oh, no offence, but I was sort of thinking maybe someone a bit younger. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh, that'd be great. Um, I need to get back. Uh, yeah, no, I'll go and get my stuff. I'll be over in five minutes. Great, thanks. Bethany, please, I have warned you about Danielle. No, this has got nothing to do with him. This is for Sinead. And if it helps, then I'll do it. Yeah, OK, listen, listen. Please, take care. I will. Hey, break your tea. Thanks. Isn't that right, Bethany? Yeah, that's right. Right. Just go easy, please. I will. Right. Go on, you. Shoo. Get out. Oh, you look nervous. Yeah, I am a bit. Don't worry. I'm not expecting a miracle. Your food? Oh, um, I told my mum that I'd have Harry this afternoon, so, uh... But look, this is your day. Enjoy it. I already am. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Are you OK? Yeah! Well, your hand is bleeding. Yeah, because I've just punched the wall! Ask me why! Go on, ask me why! Why? Because it's Christmas! Look, why don't you come back tonight? Right. That's a bit flipping forward, don't you think? But you know that I've got a dying wife. Of course you know. You've just done a makeup, haven't you? Are you going to be around to do it afterwards or are you going to have to get the funeral home to do that? Daniel, listen, no, I No! No! I don't want to talk about it. OK, she won't let me. And I can't say that I blame her, because everything that I do just ends up making her feel even worse. No, you know that that's not true. No, don't try and be nice, right, because this is on me. She's the one that's dying, and what am I doing? I'm just making things worse. Even this, even talking to you about it like this, it makes me feel sick. It's like I'm fishing for sympathy or something. No, I don't need you, OK? You go to her, go and talk to her about makeup or whatever, because she seemed to like that. No, no, I just said, don't be nice to me, OK? I don't want to talk about it, because every time that I talk about it, I end up screwing it up. That's because there's no right thing to say, is there? Believe me, I know how that feels. Like, with Nathan, there was no right thing then. But you've got to let people try. Because occasionally, it would get better. But not better, but just less horrible. But you supporting me with that article, you, you made me feel like I wasn't just that girl who got abused by those men. You made me feel like I was worth something, you know? I don't want people to be nice to me. I don't want things to get better for me. No, I, I want her not to die. I I told you, don't be nice to me, I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. You do. You are an amazing man who made me believe in myself, and I will be grateful for that for the rest of my life. No. I know. He... Oh, no, what was this thing going on? No, nothing's going on. I just... I I'm... saw you! It was a mistake. Daniel? He was upset. He didn't know what he was doing. No, I did. I did. And I wanted to kiss her. I knew what I was doing. Daniel! 
I'm sorry, I know that you've got feelings for me and I used that. I like you, but... I don't know, I just... I just wanted to feel something. I'm sorry. No, don't you apologise. This has got nothing to do with you. This has got nothing to do with Daniel! you! Daniel! is waiting for you. Go home. <laughs>